Hey everyone, ready or not, uh, here comes more The Fields of Normandy playthrough. Uh, today we're gonna play Mission 5 Secure the Area. Time to introduce more British firepower into the game. The next couple of missions will introduce British machine gun teams. Note that they have a different shooting statistic. They only hit on or so, sorry, they hit on a basic six or higher, and they have their own section in the orders chart. So basically, they are less mobile than rifle squads and prefer to find better cover. Also, they cannot scout enemy positions. So I really love how he has done that. You know, bringing in the Different order charge. I didn't expect that, so that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, we can still only face three types of Germans. It's going to be heavy machine gun, light machine gun, or a German rifle squadron. We still have the same defenses here and terrain, hills, buildings, woods, and uh, just normal plain areas. So our uh, um, victory condition here is reveal and clear all German units before time runs out. So we have four German units here that we need to. Uh, finish before uh, we reach uh, or end turn six. So we have two rifle squadrons here, and then we have a machine gun squadron. And I just like the Germans, he's gonna get this beautiful little machine gun which we get at in, uh, I believe it's a Browning that we get in uh, Company of Heroes, the board game. Uh, all right, there we go, enjoy that. And, uh, well, that's it. So let's start rolling for orders. We're going to go ahead and start with this fella. And I'm not quite sure what tactic we're going to use here. I'm thinking about using one guy and drawing all the fire and then just flanking them all. Uh, getting into this forest and taking this one out and then just, you know, eliminate the infantry. So I think that's the way we're going to go. We roll 6 and 3, which is advance and cover and advance and fire. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move in here. I'm, I took advance and fire. We're gonna roll for the enemy. And the enemy is gonna be a light machine gun. It's not the worst kind. It could be uh, something worse. It could be a heavy machine gun. And we're gonna roll to take him out. Uh, I'm up on a hill, so instead of an 8, I would need a 7. But however, the German is taking cover over here in the woods. So uh, that's gonna be a uh, 8 anyway. So we roll 2d6, and we roll 6. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. It would be epic if we got him on that try. But we have more squadrons. Uh, 3 and 4. 4 is fire and cover. 3 is advance and cover. So we're going to go ahead and do this fella a favor. We're going to advance, and then we're going to put up some cover. Okay, and then we have our machine gun. And let's see what he can do. He can... Never advance and fire, but he can rally and advance, advance and cover, advance and cover again. Cover and fire, fire and cover, fire and cover. So a lot of uh, covering. We roll five and let's see what's that. Five and four. Fire and cover. So unfortunately we can't even advance with him. That's very unfortunate. I was hoping that he would be able to move in on either a two or a three and help out. Uh, giving a little bit more cover, but that is unfortunately not going to happen, looks like. So he's going to stay here, no need for him to bring up more cover. We have the German here, he's going to target one of my squadrons. He needs the machine gun, light machine gun, needs a 6 to hit, but now it's going to be a 7 since we have cover. Ooh, we're very lucky, he only rolls a 3. That's fortunate. Okay, um, we're going to start with the machine gun this time. And we roll 1 and 4. 1 is rally and advance. 4 is cover and fire. So he's going to rally and advance. See if there's space for him here. And then we use our first rifle squadron. We roll 6 and 5, which is advance and fire or fire and advance. We're going to go ahead and fire and advance. So hopefully we take him out. Normally we would need an 8 plus 1 to uh, fire at him, so a 9, but now we have fire support from two guys, so that 9 is going to be a 7. So, there goes. Ah, no! That is unfortunate. Okay, next squadron member. 4 and 5. 4 is fire and cover, uh, 5 is fire and advance, so we're going to try again with fi uh, fire and advance, or... Should be, because we have a guy here in the building that could pose a problem. 
to us. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do fire and cover instead then. All right, fire and cover. I need a seven to take him out. I roll a six, so that cover was good. And this guy is gonna fire again, and this time he's gonna need instead of a six, he's gonna need an eight since I have two covers. And he rolls a 10, so my first squadron is hit, that's the first time that ever happens. I have a little red cube to note that they have low morale. And yeah, things are not going my way, we are in turn 3 now and a lot of stuff needs to happen for me to win, so um, it's gonna be a hard one. Okay, we start with the machine gun. He rolls a 2 and a 1, which is advance and cover, rally and advance. And I don't really need any of those. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rally and advance then I guess or am I now let's see two and one rally advance advance and cover okay um I'm gonna do advance and cover except I'm not gonna use the cover I'm building a third cover so my low morale squadron here is rolling he rolls five and three which is Fire or advance. So he's gonna fire. Remember when they are low morale they can only use the first section. So he's firing on this fella and he needs a seven. Yeah, seven. So finally we get him. He's done. Done for. So we can go ahead and remove all of this since it's not gonna be useful for us anyway. And we have one more squad member to order. And we roll four and five. Fire and advance or fire and cover. <sighs> He's gonna advance up here. And I think this is gonna be impossible, but we'll try. Next turn, okay, we roll for the low morale soldier first. Six and four. Four is fire and cover, six is advance and fire. So we're gonna move him here into the woods. We're gonna sacrifice him, fellas. I know it's mean, but we have to. So now we roll for these two Germans. The first one in the building is going to be a normal uh, German infantry squadron. And the next one is... Oh, I rolled two. should have rolled one. My apologies. Uh, it's going to be a light machine gun. A light machine gun. All right. So we command this guy first. We roll four and six. Four is firing covers. Sorry, four and two. Two is advance and scout. So we are advancing here, scouting over here. The German. And then a two, so that's a heavy machine gun. So that's our last German. And we're gonna face him downwards here. And we're putting an orange cube here again to show that it's a heavy machine gun. So he can fire in this and this arc. Okay, and then we have our machine gunner. And we roll four and two, which is cover and fire, advance and cover. So he's going to go ahead and advance and cover up here. And give me some cover. Okay, that is the end of my turn. So this fella is going to start shooting and he'll shoot at this guy. He needs a um, nine to hit. Here also two. This guy needs a uh, seven to hit, and he rolls a ten. So when they are low on morale and they receive a second hit, well, unfortunately for us, they're KIA. So that's our first last ever in uh, you know playing this game, and uh, that's the end of it. So we go now to the next turn. We have two turns remaining. This is gonna be rough. We'll start with the heavy machine gun or our machine gun. Uh, we roll 5 and 3. 5 is fire and cover, 3 is advance and cover. We're gonna st uh, try to fire. So to hit this guy, he needs a 6 plus 2 because he's in um, he's in a building. So that is gonna be an 8, but that 8 turns into a 7 since we have fire support from that squadron. So a 7 to take him out. Come on. Yes! We take him out. Very good. And then we roll I get rid of this as well. We roll for the squadron. We roll six and five. Six is fire and advance. Five is uh, fire. Uh, sorry, five is fire and advance. Six is advance and fire. 
So the question now is because this guy is not going to be able, we're not going to be able to flank him. So I'm just going to get into the building and I'm going to fire at him. And to hit this guy, I will need an eight or let's see. Yes, that should be an eight or higher. Yes, I rolled nine. So this guy is taken care of. We take care of them. The machine gunner and we have a heavy machine gun left here on the hill that's not good news and that is the end of our turn and i think oh yeah so let's wait with this one because this guy is gonna fire on us he needs it's a heavy machine gun so he needs a five but we're in a building so he needs a seven and let's see what he rolls ah he rolls a six very good very good okay so we survive and now we have one more turn we're gonna roll for the machine gunner first. He cannot move and fire, unfortunately, but he can move and provide fire support. So hopefully we roll a one, uh, sorry, a two or a three with our, um, or actually a one also works. So a one, two or a three, and we will be able to advance. Yes, we roll a two, which is advance and cover. So this guy moves up uh, and uh, we don't have to care about, care about cover here because he's gonna be lost if I don't kill this uh, heavy machine gunner now. Okay, so we roll now for my squadron. And we roll five and six, that's just what we want, which is fire and advance or advance and fire. So I'm gonna do the advance and fire, which is six. That's the best roll I could have gotten because that means I can move up here and that means I will get the flanking bonus, perfect. Okay, so to hit this German, I would normally need an eight, but it turns into a nine since he's in a building and that means let's see i need nine i need an eight and a seven because of the fire support over here and just looking at this i realized something very bad my friends let's move back because this german fired at this squadron and i said he needed a seven to hit Five normally with the heavy machine gun, and then my plus two because I'm in a building that's seven. But what I forgot was that this guy is in a building, <clears throat> so that means sorry, th this guy is on a hill, so that is a minus one, so a six would be a hit. So this squadron actually took a hit. And that means I can only perform the first part of this order, which is with the five, is fire. So unfortunately that means that I cannot advance and I will not get the flanking bonus. So to hit this guy now, I need instead of, I don't remember what I said, but I would normally need an eight plus uh, one, so that's nine. And I have fire support, so that's going to be an eight. But if I would have been able to go into his flank that would be a seven seven is i know it says here in the beginning of the um, to get seven plus is 58 percent chance to get an eight plus is only a 42 percent chance so i'm almost 60 percent chance of losing here we're gonna fire and we're gonna hope for the best we need a seven or higher to take out the last german unit in the last turn all right here goes and so i was wrong i need an eight or higher damn it eight or higher and i roll a seven because again he a rifle squad needs an eight or higher to hit um and he's up on that hill and i only have fire support so the eight plus nine because there's woods minus one is eight so i'm one away from taking him out oh no i lost okay i lost fair and square and i'm happy that i uh i don't know how i noticed that hmm, wait uh, i'm happy that i i lost uh fair and square because i rather lose fair and square than win uh you know by cheating and now i'm getting extra nervous of cheating because i know i know you're watching this mike i know you're watching me very closely so i'm like super nervous of cheating okay well that is what it is we almost by one and that is a f i love when that happens when you're you know so close to winning or losing you're you know it's just the last the last second 
changes everything. So, but unfortunately, I lost. It is what it is. So, this is Mission 5 Secure the Area. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as I always say, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out very much. And you get the latest videos from my channel. Uh, so, anyway, guys, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.